Hello people this is Self Turks and in this video we are going to discuss a basic array algorithm that is how to find majority element in an array. So this is solution 1 and we will be using a hash map to solve this problem. So first I'll explain you the problem statement and then we'll try to figure out that how we can solve it. If an element appears more than n by 2 times in an array then that element is called the majority element. So suppose we have been given this array which means the size of this array is how much since the last index is 8 so the total number of elements is 9 so we'll count it 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so there there are total 9 elements so the size is 9. Now if we go through this array then if you find the count of element 6 then it appears only one time so if you go through the whole array 6 appears only here which is equal to one time then if we find 3 then 3 also appears only one time and so the 3 has a frequency of 1 now if you go for 5 then 5 appears 5 times 1 2 3 4 and 5 so 5 appears 5 times and it is having a frequency of 5 same way 4 is appearing only one time that is here and 1 is appearing only one time so the majority element definition says that if the element appears more than n by 2 times then it is majority so here the size of the element is how much 9 which is uh, so the half is equal to how much 9 by 2 which is equal to 4 that's why this element 5 is appearing 5 times so this is the majority element now we will try to solve this problem so we'll be using a hash map to solve this particular problem so we have been given this array and this array is having a size of 9. So what we will do, we will maintain an index i for through which we will traverse the whole array and then we will maintain a hash map. So the first step is what? We will read the first element of the array and we will push it inside this hash map. So this hash map is having two things, one is key and an another is value. So value here represent the frequency of the element. So if the element is 6, so at this location that is 0 when we will read the first element of this particular array then we will directly put it inside this key equal to 6 and the frequency is 1 and we will maintain two variables the first variable will be what max frequency which will be set to 1 for the first element and the max element which is the max element so that will be set to 6 because the 6 is the max element at present now what we will do we will go to the next element and we will check if the hash map contains this particular element if it doesn't contain that element then we'll put a new key here and the value will be given as one so we'll go to the next element and since the element was not present so we have given a new value here three and the frequency is one so when we are putting an element this element we will check for the max frequency so for in this case the max frequency previously was one only and here also it is one so we will not change it if the max frequency is greater than the max frequency which is stored previously then only we will change so we'll go to the next element and again next element is what 5 so 5 was not present here so we have inserted 5 into the hash map and since the frequency is 1 so we'll check what is the max frequency it is also 1 so we will not update anything here we'll go to the next element that is 5 and this time what happened the frequency was the element was already present inside this key this hash map so we'll update the value of frequency by 1 means we'll add 1 to the existing frequency and previously the max frequency was what 1 so 2 is greater than 1 so we'll update it so the max frequency becomes what 2 and the max element will be equal to 5 so this changing of max frequency and max element will occur only when if we are inserting a new element or an existing element and the frequency is greater than the previous frequency so we'll move to the next element and again only we'll change the frequency because the element was same so 5 frequency has been updated by 3 the last frequency was 2 which has been updated by 3 and the max element is same so if you change it also then also it remains same same way we'll go to the next element and this time max frequency has been set to 4 we have updated the hash map also then again we'll go to what we'll go to this 4 and here the 4 was not present so we have inserted new key 4 with a frequency of 1 and then we'll check the max frequency max frequency is 4 which is more than 1 so we will not update this max frequency and max element we'll again go to 1 1 was not present in the hash map so what we'll do we'll 
insert key inside this one the frequency will be one which is less than the max frequency so we'll not update it next we'll go to five five was already present the previous frequency was four as you can see here the previous frequency was four when you move to it again the frequency become five and the max frequency was updated and if you want to update the max element it will remain the same so this is the algorithm so what so i'll explain in data we'll move to each and every element in the array we'll maintain a hash map we'll check if element is present in the hash map or not if it is not present we'll insert it if it is present we'll update the frequency we'll check against the max frequency and max element that we have stored previously if it is greater than that we will update the max frequency and max element so we'll try to code this inside our eclipse ide so i'll go to my eclipse ide here and first thing is what we need to create an array which will store all the numbers so i'll initialize the array and we'll check here what is the value of array so it is six three four fives okay so i'll take six so i'll take six comma three comma four times five 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 okay so four times five and then four one five so i will again take here four comma one comma five okay so this is fine now what we'll go to the first step here so the first step says that what the first element will be put inside the hash map and these variables will be created so first is what i'll create a hash map so i'll say hash map so hash map is a data structure in java it will store two things integer comma integer and i'll say the variable name as hash map and new hash map with the value integer comma integer because the key and value both are integer so i have created it and i will save it for using hash map we need to import what we need to import java util hash map so we have imported this and i think the spelling mistake is there so it is integer 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 so now the hash map has been created and the hash map is empty so we'll take the first element and we'll put it inside the hash map so we'll say hash map dot and we'll say what put so inside put what we'll do we'll put the first element so the first element is what array of zero zero and the value is equal to one because we'll put the first element inside that so what we are doing we are taking the first element and we are putting it inside this then what we'll do we'll create two method uh, two variables one is what max frequency which will be equal to one what which will be equal to one because the max the current frequency of the element is what it is equal to one and the max element which is the max element so i'll take int max element and it, it will be equal to what array of zero so which is the first element which is present so up to this we are done now what we need to do we need to traverse the array one by one so we'll start traversing from where one so we'll come here we'll say for int i equal to one i less than what array dot length and i plus plus so this is the loop now whenever we are getting an element so suppose we got three so what we'll do we'll check into the hash map that key exists or not so we'll say h map so we'll type h map dot i will say h map dot contains key so the method is there contains key so i'll say contains key and i'll say the key is what array of i okay so this is equal to what this is equal to boolean and the variable name will be key exists okay so now what i want to do i want to check if the key exists or not there will be a semicolon so i'll say if key exists so what happens if the key exists we need to update the frequency so if key already exists suppose we take here case 5 so 5 is already existing here and again we'll get 5 so what we need to do we need to update the frequency previously it was 1 and now it is 2 so what we need to do we need to get the existing frequency so i'll tell exist existing frequency equal to what h map dot get and get what the key so the key is equal to what array of i so this way we'll get the value of the frequency now what we need to do we need to uh, increase the existing frequency so we'll say existing frequency and then plus plus so this will increase the existing frequency and then what we need to do we need to update the h map so we'll say put 
hmap.port and the key so the key will be same that will be equal to what array of i and the value will be what existing frequency or just i'll say here i'll i'll delete that line and i'll say existing frequency plus one okay so this is fine so we have updated the frequency of the existing element but what happens if the key is not present if the key is not present then we need to create a new key here with the same value and give the frequency as one else what we need to do we need to put hmap dot put not put all it will be put hmap dot put array of i with a frequency of one okay now once we have updated the hmap with new element or existing element then what we need to do we need to take the new frequency that will be equal to what hmap dot get and the key the key is what array of i so we we got the new frequency here and once we get the new frequency then what we need to do we need to compare with the max frequency which was present before so we'll say if frequency is greater than what max frequency so if the frequency is greater than max frequency then what we need to do we need to update the max frequency with the new frequency and what we need to do we need to update the max element too so max element will be equal to what array of i which is the current element on which we were working so suppose this is here it was 5 then we here it was 3 then we got a new element 5 so we created it here and then we moved here so we got a element with greater frequency that is 2 because the existing frequency was 1 if I change the slide so you can see here max frequency was 1 and now the max frequency is 2 so we are updating max frequency and max element that only thing we are doing here so if frequency current frequency is greater than the max frequency then we are updating max frequency and the max element so this is our algorithm here and after everything has been successfully done we'll say we need to check is this the majority element or not so we'll check if or we'll say int size of array is equal to what array dot length so we'll calculate the size here and we'll say if size of array divided by 2 or we'll say max frequency so we'll say max frequency is greater than size of array divided by 2 then the element is the max frequency we'll say system dot out dot print ln the max element so we'll print the max element otherwise what we'll do we'll just print minus one so we'll copy this system dot out and we'll do print of what minus one so we'll say print minus one okay so print of minus one so this is our algorithm so we'll try to run it and we'll check if five comes here or not so you can see five is coming as the output because five is having a frequency of how much if i go here then five finally has a frequency of five so five appears five times in the array that's why it is the majority element now what i'll do i'll change the maximum number of time 5 is appearing so i'll say 12 and then 3 and then 8 so this one so let's see what happens this time and uh, none of the element is the uh, majority element because none of the element is having a frequency greater than n by 2 so this time i think we'll get minus 1 and it is working fine we are getting minus 1 we'll again use a test case that we will create everything or we'll take just for one comma one comma one comma one comma two comma three so let's see what happens this time so i'll hit enter and the maximum frequency is one which is the majority element because it is having count greater than n by two so this was the algorithm to find the majority element in an array so hope you like this video hope you like my channel Please subscribe to my channel and please share these videos with other people. Thank